Meanwhile, China's green technology has been put on the spotlight during the 2017 Sustainable Innovation Expo in Nairobi. On display were technologies and solutions by 40 outstanding innovation-oriented enterprises from around the world. CGTN's Terry Wangari has more. The 2017 Sustainable Innovation Expo is the first to be held by the United Nations Environment Programme. One-tenth of the exhibitors are from China thanks to their efforts in low-carbon growth, eco-restoration and green travel. We are delighted to find a big portion is from China. This demonstrates China has struck substantial progress in green innovation and Chinese enterprises are more mobilized to go global to boost sustainable development and green transformation. On the one hand, this is a contribution to the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals of the UN. It also injects new vitality into the cooperation between China and countries along the Belt and Road, especially African and developing countries. The Sustainable Innovation Expo aims to provide a platform for governments and enterprises to share green innovation technologies and work on solutions to thorny environmental issues. Among these enterprises, many as we see are innovation-oriented ones. Innovation sprouted in China and spread to elsewhere in the world, bringing about common development opportunities and benefit to all countries. Therefore, we hope the UN Environment Assembly, as a global platform, will provide more opportunities for such enterprises to display their green technologies. In addition, we expect to promote more South-to-South -South cooperation among countries and among enterprises through this expo. The most outstanding technologies and solutions will be awarded with the UNEP Champions of the Earth title. Terry Wangari, CGTN. For more on this important environment gathering, we are joined by CGTN Sony Methu live from the UNEP headquarters in Nairobi. Sony, an important environment gathering is getting underway there at the UNEP headquarters. What are the key items on the agenda? Well, Penina, as you rightly mentioned, this year's agenda is actually a pollution-free planet. And there will be many discussions. Uh, first of the agenda would be taking stock of perhaps previous uh, UNEP assemblies that have taken part. The last one was last year here in Nairobi, around May. So there were policies and discussions that were made. They'll be taking stock of what actually has already been implemented, what failures or challenges. There'll be dialogues and discussions and exchange of ideas about what can be implemented, what has successfully been implemented, but also what more can be done. The main issues they'll be discussing is, of course, air pollution. This is uh, an issue that is affecting uh, most populations in the world, especially places like China and countries that are developing, but also land pollution. This is an issue main, mainly perhaps in Africa, where a lot of uh, people depend on farming and they depend on also fertilizers. So soil pollution is another key issue, but also pollution of water. Water. This includes lakes, uh, rivers and seas. We've seen so many stories about cows or uh, animals being found with plastic bags in their stomachs, whales being found in this, with, the, with a similar situation. So cleaning up the environment will be among the top key issues that the delegates will be discussing. And Sonny, just how binding are resolutions arrived at the Assembly and what are some of the enfor enforcement mechanisms? Well, they are quite binding for the member states, at least all of them who agree to the policies that they come up with, at least by Wednesday, they are able to sign to these agreements. But implementation, especially for developing countries, has not been easy. And this uh, probably due to financial challenges, perhaps even human conflict, and even sometimes corruption. So since 2005, the UN came up with an enforcement uh, kind of policing where they have uh, inspected they have prosecutors, they have customs officials, but also an, a, a network to empower or equip countries that are not able to enforce some of these policies. But also the countries have to take their obligation in their hands. No one wants to be embarrassed by not uh, taking the, the, these standards or maintaining the standards that these member states agree on. For example, in Kenya we have like amazing environmental policies. We recently saw the ban of plastic bags. This is being duplicated 
implemented in most other African countries. So these policies seem to be working, however slow, but there's a, 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 a joint effort or at least initiative for all these member states to implement and enforce the, the, the ideas they come up with. All right, Sunny Mehdu, live for us there at the UNEP headquarters here in Nairobi. Thank you, Sunny.